Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a two-handed sword known as the Black Tongue. Uh, the Black Tongue sword is, well, a two-handed sword. It does have some interesting mechanics. And as we go over it, I think you will think it's well, moderately interesting at the very least. Uh, Black Tongue does have one kind of like standout mechanic. And um, it does make it rather interesting for certain characters. Um, especially those who may be having trouble killing things. And I've talked about this in previous videos uh, because uh, monsters do have a regeneration effect. And if you're not doing enough damage or you're not hitting often enough to prevent the monster from regenerating, um, regeneration can be an issue. And this offers two different ways to prevent the monster from regenerating, which can certainly be useful in combination with perhaps another sword uh, that dishes out more damage. A Black Tongue is a Bastard Sword, uh, which can be wielded in one hand for 11 to 30 damage. Um, it also can be wielded in two hands for 32 to 44. Um, it has a strength requirement of 62, which is a little high, but not for level 26. Level 26 is actually pretty high, and most characters should have 62 strength by the time they hit level 26. Uh, we also have 60% enhanced damage on this, which is relatively low, um, especially considering a lot of other weapons around this level have a lot higher. And it also varies between 50 to 60%, so you can find one a little bit lower on the scale. Uh, we have 50 attack rating on this, which is static, and it's actually pretty low on the attack rating, although your weapon skills and things like that will multiply the, the, uh, the attack rating out. 50 is still not really that much. Uh, we also have 113 poison damage over 6 seconds, which at level 26 will actually do you pretty good and will help prevent monsters from regenerating. Um, if you guys are unaware of how mo poison prevents regeneration, it basically works like this. There are 25 frames within the game, and for each frame, the monster will try to regenerate. Um, if the poison is consuming all of those frames, the monster will turn green. When the monster is green, the monster will not regenerate. However, the moment that the monster turns back to his normal color, he is regenerating. Poison can actually damage a monster while they are not green. Um, this means that all of the regeneration cycles have not been consumed, and because all the regeneration cycles have not been consumed, the monster will still regenerate even while poisoned. So keep in mind that if the monster is not green, he's very mean. Uh, we also have Prevent Monster Heal on this, though, which is going to prevent the monster from regenerating. And uh, lasts for 20 minutes. It's kind of insane. So when you tap a monster with Prevent Monster Heal, they are not going to regenerate for a very, very long time. So not only do you have Prevent Monster Heal, keeping the monster from regenerating, you also have the poison damage, which is going to start to take away their life as they are unable to regenerate, uh, which is a very nice combination. Uh, we also have Poison Resistance, 50% on this, which could come in handy when you're fighting Nightmare and Dariel. And uh, you could, of course, throw a socket in this. Uh, we also have Black Tongue Bastard Sword in the ethereal form of 16 to 44 damage, 48 to 67 two-handed, and 52 strength requirement at level 26. Now, this can be upgraded, um, and unfortunately, due to the relatively low enhanced damage, it's probably not going to upgrade very well. But usually, Tier 1 to Tier 2 upgrades tend to go a lot better than people expect, uh, usually because Tier 2 upgrades are generally stuck at around level 30, which means we're not going to gain that many levels um, on the upgrade of this item. The real detriment for upgrading these items, honestly, comes from the fact that uh, the requirements go up pretty massively. So if you're going to upgrade these items, make sure you can fulfill the requirements of the item before you upgrade them. Uh, to upgrade this, you're going to need a Ral Rune, a Soul Rune, and a Perfect Emerald. Um, and that's going to go from 11 to 30, to one-handed, 32 to 44, two-handed, 62 strength, 26 level requirement. Two, a 22 to 64 one-handed, 62 to 96 two-handed, 20 dex, 113 strength, level 31. Not bad at all. Level 31 is still relatively low. Uh, the damage actually went up 
not too bad. 22 to 64 one-handed and 62 to 96 two-handed is actually not bad. But really the um, the main key here is the prevent monster heal with the poison damage. So if you were a barbarian, for instance, and you wanted to get good use out of this, your best bet would just simply be to um, utilize this as an offhand weapon or a main hand weapon, whichever one is the better one, and then have your higher damage weapon in the other hand. And the reason why this would work very well is that being able to apply the poison damage and the prevent monster monster heal to the monster is going to speed up your kills tremendously when you're unable to like just one shot them outright. The ethereal version can also be upgraded. Um, so let's get our Ral, our soul and our perfect emerald. And uh, that's going to go from 16 to 44, 48 to 67, um, 52 strength to 33 to 96 one-handed, 92 to 144 two-handed, uh, 10 dexterity, 103 strength and level 31. Um, now, the ethereal version um, can't be used, really, because uh, it will break. But you could potentially use this on an Act 5 Barbarian Mercenary. Um, the main problem here is that Prevent Monster Heal does not work on Mercenaries, uh, although he would still get the Poison Damage effect and the Poison Resistance, which could potentially keep him alive. I just don't really feel like this is a good choice for an Act 5 Barb Merc. Now, we can also upgrade this to the Elite tier, and it's uh, because of the relatively low enhanced damage on this, it's not going to upgrade well, I can already tell you. Uh, but let's go ahead and do it anyway, because for science, um, it's going to go from 22 to 64 one-handed damage, 62 to 96 two-handed damage, 20 dexterity, 113 strength, level 31, to the Champion Sword, 38 to 86, terrible 113 to 132 two-handed, terrible. 103 dexterity requirement, 163 strength, and level 69. Um, very, very poor upgrade there. Let's try the ethereal version. Um, that one is going to upgrade from 33 to 96, 92 to 144 two-handed, 10 dexterity, 103 strength, level 31, to 57 to 129, that's terrible. 169 to 198 two-handed, terrible. 93 dex. 153 strength and 16 level 69 so as you can see black tongue a pretty decent upgrade to the second tier uh, but a very terrible upgrade to the third tier uh, black tongue is really only a good weapon for barbarians in my opinion or druids uh, as a two-handed weapon you tend to avoid those on any character that doesn't um have like a propensity toward two-handed weapons um, barbarians and druids are the only really two classes in the game that get extremely good use out of two-handed weapons. Um, paladins are very focused around their shield. Amazons get huge penalties for using swinging weapons. Um, they could potentially use them, but they have no skills to actually take advantage of them. Um, sorceresses could potentially use some if they were doing like a bear druid or something, but not at this low level. And, um... Necromancers probably aren't using two handed weapons at all, unless it's maybe that Grimm's, Grimm's Burning Scythe. Um, all in all, um, this sword is what it is. It is a prevent monster heal item. It is an item dedicated to the purpose of preventing the monster from regenerating and being able to recover his or her health. And um, that's really all there is to it. And I apologize for my green screen uh, like messing up back there. That would be the big fat monster dog who is currently snoring, by the way. Um, he is always messing with my green screen. He just kicks it and bumps it and pokes it and punches it. He doesn't even care. He don't care. I'll pull him away from it, and he immediately just like rolls back over and bumps back into it, and I can't do anything about it. Uh, so let's take a look and see where potentially we could find uh, this item if we wanted to get our hand on a black tongue. Um which is actually a pretty good low-level option for Prevent Monster Heal. Now, granted, you can find the occasional... Um, there you go. I pulled him away from the green screen. <laughs> you can find the occasional uh, item with Prevent Monster Heal on it, but this is a pretty good low-level choice for, for Prevent Monster Heal. So let's see where we could potentially find this. Um, let's assume a level of... I want to see here. Level 26. So let's say about 100% magic fine. I feel like that's a good magic fine level. And boop, boop, 
There we go. So we're looking at Diablo and normal. One and 286. Pretty much our best bet there. And then Bale also. But Bale is much harder to farm for items. So normal Diablo is really your best bet as far as uh, bosses go. And then super uniques. Uh, let's see here. We've got Shank. We've got Doc Farron. We've got Piddleskin, Thresh Socket. Um, a lot of good choices there as far as uh, monsters go. You could definitely farm Pindle, Thresh Socket, Doc Farron, Shank. And I don't see Eldritch on the list, so I guess Eldritch can't drop it. Hmm. But that's a nice little combo there you could do in normal difficulty to try and get your hands on a Black Tongue. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, especially when uh, my monster dog is messing up my green screen and I have a uh, black tongue. <laughs> and as always, keep watching.